Hey there, and welcome to CBS Mornings on this Friday, November 17th. I'm Tony DeCopo. I'm Nate Burleson. And I'm Adriana Diaz. Gail is off, but we're in great hands. Let's go to today's eye-opener, Your World in 90 Seconds. CBS News embeds with Israeli forces searching Gaza's largest hospital where they believe Hamas may have held hostages. Are you considering a limited ceasefire? We would have a temporary ceasefire only if we have our hostages back. A mistrial is declared in the case of a former police officer charged in the botched raid that led to Breonna Taylor's death. It is their intention to retry Brett Hankinson. Rap mogul Sean Combs denies new allegations of abuse by his ex-girlfriend, Cassie. Sexual abuse at the level of sexual trafficking. In Chicago, passenger train collided with rail equipment at a rail yard. At least 40 people were hurt, including children. Rory McIlroy was shocked when he found out his tee shot didn't find the grass, but rather the lap of one of the spectators. <laughs> <laughs> we got the long-awaited House ethics report on New York Congressman George Santos. And the things Santos spent donors cash on include designer goods, lavish Atlantic City trips, and smaller purchases at OnlyFans. What? Oh, oh George? Oh, no, our star volleyball player, oh, George. No, 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 no. Leslie, I hate to say it, but this man is really making me start to distrust politicians. <laughs> This morning's eye-opener is presented by Progressive, making it easy to bundle insurance. I mean, but they were only smaller purchases. Yeah, right? exactly. I mean, not large Small ones. Like that makes it a <laughs> Welcome to CBS Mornings on this Friday. Adriana, glad to have you with us. Appreciate glad to that. Be back. Uh, let's get right to the news because we're going to begin with new signs that Israel's military, its assault on Gaza, routing out Hamas, still has a long way to go. This morning, the Israeli army chief of staff has said that he expects, quote, more and more regions of that tiny strip of land will be targeted as his troops get closer to, quote, dismantling Hamas. MTS Tayyab traveled with Israeli soldiers to the Al Shifa hospital complex, which Israel says has been a center of operations for Hamas, but is now also the focus of criticism over Israel's tactics. And MTS joins us now. MTS, you know that region well. You've worked there for years. What did you learn visiting Al Shifa? Tony, good morning to you. Well, central to Israel's justifications of its devastating military campaign on Gaza is its claim that Hamas's armed wing has been running extensive operations from within the Al Shifa hospital. Now, the only way for us as international journalists to enter Gaza is with the Israeli military. We were taken to the sprawling medical complex by one of Israel's elite special forces unit. We could only go where they wanted to take us and see what they wanted to show us but Israel's army had no control over our final report. We try Welcome back to CBS Mornings. I'm Tony DeCopo. Coming up in this hour, part three of our series, Psychedelic Renaissance. Lisa Ling tries breath work that's said to resemble a psychedelic trip. I'm Adriana Diaz. Actor Coleman Domingo is playing civil rights hero Bayard Rustin in a widely acclaimed new film. It is a fascinating story, not often told, and he has a lot to tell us about it. I'm Nate Burleson. We've also got a 48 hours investigation from Natalie Morales. This one's a cold case that took three decades to solve. Sounds like a Saturday night, but first, here's today's eye opener at 8. We're walking through the streets of Gaza City, and even in the darkness, you can see nearly everything's in ruins. CBS News is on the ground with the Israeli military in Gaza and gets a look at the besieged Al Shifa Hospital. In a CBS Evening News exclusive, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu speaks about the hostages held by Hamas. We'll have a temporary ceasefire if we can get our hostages back. Congressman George Santos says he will not seek re-election after a scathing new ethics report. CBS News has learned the head of the Ethics Committee could file an expulsion resolution against Congressman Santos as soon as today. When I opened up my phone and seen all these messages, I was flabbergasted. And 50 Cent shares a video of a 64-year-old fan jamming out at one of his concerts. I would like to do a meet and greet with 50 Cent. As in his, his uh, lyric in the club, Come on, baby, give me a hug. I'm ready. 
Come on, 50, make it happen. Yeah. Uh, I think that's going to happen. Uh, wow. No it, doubt about yeah, it. Yeah, that's incredible. Just make sure our cameras are there when it happens. For sure. We want to cover that. We need the exclusive. Yes. All right, before we start this hour, breathe with me. In, out. <sighs> and that is where we begin with part three of our series, Psychedelic Renaissance. But in this story, no one will be ingesting anything. Lisa Ling visited Sedonia Conscious Living Retreat Center, which is in Arizona, to learn about activation breath work. It's a breathing technique that participants say can lead to a psychedelic healing experience. Lisa Ling joins us now. Good morning. Hey. So in our quest to find healing for the anxiety, depression, and the trauma that seems to be plaguing so many of us, we found an approach that doesn't require you to consume anything at all, but your journey could be as profound. It's something I jumped at the opportunity to try myself. In Sed Matter this week, we'll be right back. <laughs> that does it for us. Vlad, are you going to eat the Baskin Robbins turkey fixing stuff? Bring it on. I'll yeah. always try anything once. You heard it, Baskin Robbins. Deliver it to us. We'll see you Monday on CBS Mornings. Let's take a look back at all that mattered this week. Try anything once. CBS News is learning about a possible deal between Israel and Hamas that could lead to the release of some of the hostages being held in Gaza. In this latest proposal, Israel would agree to a three to five day ceasefire. Aid would be allowed into Gaza and a group of the youngest hostages and women would be released. President Biden met with Chinese President Xi Jinping in California, their first time in a room together in more than a year. President Biden called the discussion some of the most productive and constructive the two leaders have ever had. I think it's paramount that you and I understand each other clearly, leader to leader. In a three-part series we're calling Psychedelic Renaissance, which looks at the mind-altering and maybe mood-boosting possibilities of substances that are starting to enter the mainstream. How are you guys feeling? Amazing. Yeah, magical, like a fresh start. Herb told me that when it first hit, he felt this excruciating pain, but then the medicine telling him, just let it go. Let it go. Karma takes all my friends to the summit. Karma is the guy on the trees. She changed the lyrics of her song, Karma, and she put Travis's name in there. That's who she's talking about. My man was in Argentina. That was oh. There's the guy. Oh. Look at Tony. Oh, yeah. Not even close. Believe, okay. Tony. That wasn't Please. the remix. That was the hemix. <laughs> Adriana, what's up? Uh, nothing much. Just over here, creating life. Okay. Creating life. <laughs> Casually. <laughs> So when did this go up? And this went up about two years ago. It feels awesome. But now, in retrospect, I look at this image and I say, wow, I've lost a little bit of weight since that mural went up. Like, so how can, can I touch it up? Like, can we go up there and, you know, slim it down a little bit? Chocolate. Uh, chocolate. Yeah. Vlad almost had the same reaction when we were trying Thanksgiving-themed chocolates last week. Jalapeno mac and cheese. All right, jalapeno mac and cheese. <laughs> I know. I was like, I, I was like that kid. I was like, I, I, I don't know what you I love that video. Oh. My <laughs> Yesterday, Nate made a comment about some shorts I was seen wearing on TV <laughs> yeah. while uh, taking batting practice. That was shade. <laughs> Where did you buy those Daisy Dukes? Because those were some short <laughs> shorts, Tony. Jeez, that was a lot of length. Katie oh, wants them to be even shorter. Oh, okay. Ooh, hey now. <laughs> The shorts that I prefer. You're a five incher. I'm a five inch guy when it comes to the shorts. The so. thing is, because you have great legs, and I'm not objectifying him here, but mm. Tony DeCopel does have very nice legs, it works on you. Katie wants me to. They're not for everyone, inch. Tony. Does she? Yeah. What How do you feel about that, Nate? I mean, that, that second clip was a bit much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, three, three inches. When your ping pongs are hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> Say happy birthday to you, Clark Smith, who's running the oh, 